Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to discuss second problem in our series. Uh, in this one, I am going to talk about one practical question here. So before talking to the our question, I am going to talk something about a schema just to recap. We have a table called as department, we have another table called as a student. right? And the student and department table is linked to each, uh, each other with the department ID. So we can see there is a quarantine in between them, that's fine. Then we have another table called as a staff table, which is again linked by the department. And there is a one more table called as a subject, and the subject is also linked by the staff ID. Right? Okay. So finally, we have a final table, and there we have all the data. I can say the transactional data. This table is called as a mark. And in the mark table, we have a column called as a value as a number, and, and two more columns called as a subject underscore ID and the student ID. So subject underscore ID and the student ID, these are the two uh, key column which are basically re referencing two different tables. The student underscore ID is referencing to the student table and the student uh, and the subject ID is referencing to student table. And if I see carefully by looking at the ER diagram, I can say subject ID and the student ID, these are the combination of the key which will represent the primary key. So in this table is having the pra composite primary key. Okay. This is basically the schema. Now we are going to move our query. Our query for this video is write a query to display the name of student whose ID is other than 4 and 7 from the student table. Order the result by student name in assembly order. Okay. This is the query which we need to solve now. I hope you you guys understood the uh, ER diagram and the structure of table. Now let's create it in a system and let's try to query. So this is our requirement. To jump into the uh, query, I want to uh, segregate this query first. So basically, what actually they are asking us? They are asking to display the name of the student. This is first requirement. Next thing, whose ID is other than four and seven. So student. This is second requirement. Student ID other than 4 and 7 okay this is fine from the student table that's fine from student table order the result by student name in ascending order so the third requirement of the query is they want to see the result by ascending order right so this is the requirement of for this video what our intention is to i i want to make you guys familiar the sql uh, sql word by reading the english statement so these are our statement and we need to translate this statement into the sql understandable language right so that's why i am trying to segregate different different uh, words different different statements to make a proper meaningful uh, things to make a query okay now if we solve this three thing, it means that our uh, we solve basically our problem, right? So how we can do that? And by looking at this query, I can clearly say they only need the data from the student table. They don't need data from the department, subject, marks, staff. They only want to see the data from the student table. So let's create the student table first. I'm going to create here the student table. Create table. Name for the table is student, and let's go for the column. For getting the column, I need to have student ID, uh, the student name, address, city, and the department ID. Let's do that. Let's add it. So the first column is called the student ID, which is in, and it is actually the primary key. So this is one. Then we have a second column called as the student name, which is having a where care of something. I don't recall. We'll see now. Then we have address. Then we have city, then we have age. So age would be a numeric in then city where can will get one of the size from the pen diagram. Sorry, the ER diagram. Okay. Now let's go and just read the number 4030. 40, then 30. Right, so just replace those uh, 
characters now this is basically the uh, create table syntax okay let's create it i can see this table has been created successfully that's fine and we miss one more thing here basically there is a there is a foreign key called as a department id so we do a now foreign key we are adding here the column called as a department id which is in and basically which is a foreign key if it is a foreign key we need to follow this syntax like this references which table it refer to department table and what's the column name department id okay so we just create a table that's why we are going to drop the table to recreate one just drop the table and just select the query and let's execute it now i can see the student table has been created so to see the structure of any table we need to uh, select alter plus f1 so when we select alter plus f1 we'll see the entire definition of table my system is quite slow so it's taking some time but you know it will show all the details right now you can see the definition this table has been created at this time okay the, we are, but we are very much interested to know the foreign key so by looking at the definition for the constant i can see the department id basically which is table which is coming from the department table and referencing to the column called as the department id this is a one foreign key another column is called as the primary key an important thing when we create any primary key on a table by default the unique cluster index get created so this is different thing we'll talk about that later on but just for this demonstration just think about we have a table called as a student and they it is having this many column and the department id referencing to department table now we are going to load some data into this table so how we do that we need to use the insert into table syntax just uh, pass some value my student id is one student name is a uh, then address is uh, usa the city is a and the age is uh, like a certain and uh, department id is one let's add another another record in the into the table i could say it's a two okay and the department i'm referencing is two okay fine now let's insert some data into this table i can see the message like table has been loaded with with the this, this two entry so that's fine right let's take this table and just do a select star okay now let's go back to our query and let's try to understand basically these are our three requirement which we need to work on and these are the three things which i have which has been asked so they need basically the student name so we'll write here student name we'll write here the student name right this is the first requirement okay that's fine third requirement is by order by this so we'll we write order by student name and what is the order they need in ascending order but the this is done partially now the next requirement is student id other than four and so so how would we write like this we will write like this student id not it should not other than me it should not not in four and seven right so basically this is the simple query and this is the uh, this is basically the output of this statement this is the query which you will find in the practical examination they will ask you the requirement different requirement and they'll ask you how to write the query like this so this would be the simplest query by the output okay when i run this query i can see the output like this aa 
so my student name is a right okay mm -hmm. both the both the student could have a different name right that's fine so this is the simplest way we we would have uh, write like this right okay so hope you guys like uh, our video and enjoyed our video regarding the small business problem or the small practical question and we will try to continue through more uh, video on the practical session please comment over the comment section if you like our videos and thanks for watching have a great day ahead